So now let's work with pages inside of Microsoft Visio. So we have been working with only page one till now, but we can actually have multiple pages in a Microsoft Visio. So you can he see here that I have a diagram and at the bottom you see page one. I can actually right click this and what I can do is I can rename the page and I can say something like diagram just like that. And by default, what you see uh, as a page here is a foreground page. There's actually two types of pages uh, in Microsoft Visio. One is a foreground page and one is a background page, which we're going to talk about in further lessons. So right now, uh, we're going to work with the foreground page first. So if I want to add in a page, I can simply right click. So I have an option to insert page um, and rename page as you can see already there. You can also delete the page. So now I'm going to duplicate the page right here. So that just creates a duplicate of the same diagram. So I can make a few changes right here, just like that. You got page one and page two. I can rename that as well and say diagram two, just like that. So now you can also press this plus icon right here, which will add in another page just like that without having you um, to actually right click anything. So you can right click and insert a page as well. That actually gives you option as you can see. So you can choose the type of the page that is foreground. You can also choose the background right here and you can choose the uh, measurement unit according to what you want. So I'm gonna press OK and there you go. The foreground page has been added. You can also go here. You can see that you have an option to rename, duplicate, and even you have option to uh, work with the page setup. So you can go to page setup right here. You can change the measurement unit into feet and inches, for example, or miles and press OK. And you can see that the measurement unit has been changed. You can also click and drag this to rearrange the pages as you can see right here. So just click and drag it out to rearrange the pages. There's also all. Uh, so once you click all, you can you actually have option to go around to different pages just like that. You can also uh, right click right here, go to reorder pages right here and reorder the page right here as well. So you can go over here, move up or move the page uh, down from four, press OK, and you can see that the pages has been reordered. So that is how you can work with pages, reorder pages, and work with the foreground pages inside of Microsoft Visio. Hope you guys learned something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.